Apex Partners LLP is a UK-based private equity and venture capital firm, headquartered in London, England. The company also operates out of eight other offices in New York, Hong Kong, Mumbai, Tel Aviv, Madrid, Stockholm, Milan and Munich. The firm, including its various predecessors, have raised approximately $35 billion dating back to 1969. Apex Partners is one of the oldest and largest private equity firms operating on an international basis, ranked the seventh largest private equity firm globally. Apex invests exclusively in certain business sectors including, telecommunications, information technology, retail and consumer products, media, healthcare and financial and business services. As of the end of 2007, Apex had invested in approximately 340 companies in all stages of development. Apex raises capital for its investment funds through institutional investors including corporate and public pension funds, university and college endowments, foundations and fund of funds. One of the firm's co-founders, Alan Patrykov, was an early investor in Apple Computer and America Online. History Apex Partners Worldwide is the product of the combination of three firms, Patrykoff & Company, founded in 1969 in New York by pioneering venture capitalist Alan Patrykoff. Multinational Management Group, founded in 1972 by Sir Ronald Cohen and Morris Chick Copyright Nio. Saunders Carp & Megu, founded in 1988 by Thomas A. Saunders III and Alan W. Carp and joined by John Megu in 1992 equals Patrykoff and Company and MMG equals, in 1969, Alan Patrykoff founded Patrykoff and Company, a firm dedicated to making investments in development capital later known as venture capital, primarily in small early-stage companies. Patrykoff, one of the early venture capitalists, was involved in the development of numerous major companies including America Online, Office Depot, Cadence Design Systems, Apple Computer and Four Systems. In 1975, Patrykoff launched 53rd Street Ventures, a $10 million vehicle. Meanwhile, in 1972, Sir Ronald Cohen and Morris Chick Copyright Nio, along with two other partners, founded Multinational Management Group with offices in London, Paris, and Chicago. MMG initially was established as an advisory firm, working with small emerging companies rather than an investment firm. However, MMG initially struggled to gain traction amid the negative economic conditions, particularly in the UK in the mid-1970s. By 1977, two of the original four founding partners had left MMG, leaving Cohen and Chick Copyright Nio in need of a partner to help rejuvenate their firm. In that year, Cohen approached Alan Patrykoff to join them and run the new firm's investments in the US. The new firm would be known as Alan Patrykoff Associates and ultimately come to be known as Apex Partners Border. Following the merger, MMG abandoned its advising business, and the new APA shifted its focus exclusively to investing in startup companies. Equals Apex in the 1980s, 1990s and the 21st century equals, throughout the 1980s, the firm grew steadily raising capital under a series of separate funds. As the 1980s progressed, the firm introduced its first later stage venture fund in 1984, its first growth capital fund in 1987 and its first dedicated European leveraged buyout fund MMG Patrykoff European buy-in fund in 1989. In response to the changing conditions, in the venture capital industry in the 1980s Apex began to transition away from venture capital toward leveraged buyouts and growth capital investments which were in vogue in that decade. This trend was more prevalent in Europe than the US, where Patrykoff preferred to continue focusing on venture investments. In 1991, Apex Partners became the official name for all of its European operations however the US business still operated under the Patrykoff & Company name. By the mid-1990s Apex had become one of the larger private equity firms globally. In 2000, Patrykoff & Company adopted the Apex Partners branding and formalized its affiliation with its European business. The U.S. business would operate as Apex Partners, Incorporated. The following year, 
Patrykov stepped back from day-to-day -day management of Apex Partners, Inc., the U.S. arm of the firm to return to his original focus on making venture capital investments in small early-stage companies. In 2006, Patrykov left Apex to form Greycroft Partners which focuses on small early-stage venture capital investments. Despite the closer relations between the U.S. and European teams, the firm still operated separate fund entities for each geography. The European side of the business began to pull away in terms of capital commitments, raising more than $5 billion for its 2004 vintage European fund but just $1 billion for its 2006 U.S. vintage fund. Equals Saunders Carp and Megu equals, in 2005, Apex announced it would acquire middle market leveraged buyout firm Saunders Carp and Megu to augment its buyout business in the United States. Saunders Carp, formerly based in Stamford, Connecticut, was founded in 1989 by Thomas A. Saunders III and Alan W. Carp. John Megu, who today heads Apex's operations in the U.S., had worked as a principal at Patry Coffin Company before joining Saunders Carp in 1992. Saunders Carp had received capital commitments from institutional investors including AT&T Corporation, the General Electric Pension Trust, Goldman Sachs Private Equity Group, Harbor Vest Partners, J.P. Morgan Fleming Asset Management, New York State Common Retirement Fund and Verizon, among others. Investments, pre-2000, in 1998, Apex invested in Neurodynamics Limited, which was the parent of Autonomy Corporation. British Telecom restructured, and agreed to sell the L Group Yellow Pages directory business to Apex and Lion Capital LLP for a £2.14 billion $3.5 billion, making it then the largest non-corporate LBO in European history. Yale bought U.S. directories publisher Michaeliodisa for about $600 million the following year, and floated on London's FTSE in 2003. 2004 Apex purchased PCM with Divers. 2005, Apex purchased a majority stake in Travelex for a £1.06 billion. In Q3 2005 Apex also announced plans to purchase Grupo Panrico, one of Spain's largest food companies and its largest bakery company. A partnership consisting of Apex, Sabin Capital Group and Arkin Communications acquired the controlling interest in Israeli telecommunications company Bezek in October 2005 for $923 million. The partnership sold its stake to Internet Gold Euro Golden Lines Limited subsidiary B Communications in April 2010 for $1.75 billion. As part of the Violet Acquisitions Consortium Apex is involved in the December 2005 purchase of Summerfield, the UK's fifth largest supermarket chain. Summerfield was later sold to the cooperative group in March 2009. 2006, Apex purchased the Tommy Hilfiger Corporation for $1.6 billion, or $16.80 a share, all in cash. In May 2006, this deal was approved by the shareholders of Tommy Hilfiger. In June 2006, Apex acquired HIT Entertainment in a take private transaction in June 2006. Apex acquired a majority stake in Pictage, Inc. The leading provider of online solutions for professional wedding and portrait photographers. Pictage, Inc. was co-founded by Gary Fong. On August 21, 2006, it was announced that Apex Partners and Bain Capital had joined the enlarged private equity consortium headed by KKR that has agreed to acquire an 80.1% stake in the semiconductor division of Royal Philips Electronics. The new company is called NXP Semiconductors. On October 31, 2006, it was announced that Apex Partners had acquired FTMSC which would later be rebranded under the Vizada name in June 2007. This was shortly followed by an announcement on September 6, 2007 explaining that Apex Partners had acquired Talino Satellite Services which was to be merged into the Vizada brand. On November 20, 2006, Apex Partners Worldwide LLP won a tender to buy control of TNUVA. The bid values the privately held food and dairy group at $1.025 billion. 2007, in May 2007, 
APAX signed definitive agreements with funds advised by APAX Partners and OMERS Capital Partners under which such funds acquired the higher education, careers and library reference the assets of Thomson Learning, and a consortium of funds advised by OMERS, and APAX acquired Nelson Canada, for a combined total value of approximately $7.75 billion in cash. The higher education, Careers and library reference the assets include such well-known brands and businesses as, Wadsworth, Southwestern, Delma Learning, Eddie Diamond, Gale, Hain, Brooks Cole, Course Technology and Nelson Canada. Nelson Canada is a leading provider of books and online resources for the educational markets in Canada. The group will be majority owned by OMERS. The name was changed to Cengage Learning on July 24, 2007. APAC sells PCM with Jivers. 2008, in January 2008 APAC purchased the TNUVA company for $1.025 billion. In August 2008, APAC's partners completed acquisition of TRI Zeta Group. 2009, in August 2009, APAC's partners completed acquisition of Bankrate. 2010, in January 2010, APAC's partners acquired 76.8% of Israel-based Vsigot Investment House for $570 million. In April 2010, APAC's partners announced acquisition of Tivit. In May 2010, APAC's partners acquired a 70% stake in Sophos for $580 million. 2011, on March 25, 2011, APAX Partners announced that it had reached a definitive agreement to purchase Trader Corporation from Yellow Media for a purchase price consideration of $745 million. On December 23, 2011, APAX Partners announced acquisition of the Swiss branch of Orange. 2012, on June 11, 2012, an APAX led consortium announced acquisition of Paradigm Limited. On September 2012, APAX Partners forms consortium with CEO Stephen Cretia for Garda World Security Services. On November 2012, APAX Partners agrees to acquire Cole Hahn and completes acquisition February 4, 2013. 2014, on January 21, 2014 APAX bought out the remaining 50.1% share of Trader Media from the Guardian Media Group. On December 8, 2014 APAX announced that it had entered into a transaction agreement to acquire 100% of the shares of EVOY. Criticisms and alleged predatory practices equals British United Shoe Machinery equals, the circumstances surrounding the demerger, transfer of assets and subsequent collapse of the British United Shoe Machinery in 2000 led to questions about APAX's behaviour being raised in Parliament by MPs of both main parties. After calls for an inquiry into the loss of hundreds of pensions were refused, Dr. Ros Altman, the pensions expert and, as of 2015, UK Pensions Minister described it one of the worst cases I have seen the actions of the former owners, APACs have been immoral. The late Dr. Ashok Kumar said, I think these people needed flogging these are greedy, selfish, capitalists who live on the backs of others. Equals Heller's Telecommunications equals Following its sale of Wind Hellers in 2007, APAX and Hellers co owner TPG were sued by former bondholders of the telecom company, who alleged that APAX and TPG unjustifiably enriched themselves from the company and misrepresented the true state of the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S accounts. APAX has countered that some of these bondholders only began their dispute after passing up on the chance of selling prior to the crash of 2007 and that APAX was not the legal owner of Hellas during the period cited in some of the lawsuits as of December 2015. Other lawsuits related to APAX and TPGA Euro unregistered trademark S ownership of Hellas are being heard in courts in the USA and in Luxembourg. References External links APAX Partners, How I Rode the Rising Wave of Private Equity The Sunday Times, November 4, 2007 See also, Scott Mead